Knock, knock, who's there? Well, I'm here, your favorite foodian. Welcome to one of the best places in the city. I'm not kidding you. These gates, these gates you're seeing are not normal gates. They're gates to what we call a meat haven. A meat haven. The name of the place is called La Sulu. La Sulu. But we're going to do something special. Because this place is what I call a meat haven. Everything meat. If you want meat, if you feel like having meat, sausages, ribeyes, I don't know, tomahawks, uh, T-bone steaks, whatever, you name them. This is the place to have it. So like I say, what time is it? The time is meat eating time. told you it's meat eating time and this is the classiest spot in the whole you know West African sub region where you will get original you know BBQ meat experience yeah. am I lying very very true well very, very, very true. well I mean he is uh, the manager for this spot yeah you know one mm -hmm. of the founders of this very place it's called Lasulu and he's, he's Emmanuel I'm gonna allow him to introduce himself and tell me a little bit about Lasulu and what you guys do because you know, I'm seeing meat here. I don't know whether we got this from uh, Tesano or <laughs> Wa or Bogatanga. Yeah, but talk to me, where are we and what do you guys do? Okay, I'm Manuel said, the manager of the Lasulo restaurant. Okay. Actually, this is a barbecue steakhouse, strictly barbecue steakhouse, nothing cows. Meat haven. Meat haven. What you, if you want meat, this is where you have to come from. This no, is no, it. Nowhere other than Lasulo. As, as uh, Cristiano Ronaldo does. Meat, meat haven. And Sweet. Yes, <laughs> as easy as that. When you're looking for, just enter Lasulu GH on Google Map, straight to our door. Beautiful. We will talk about the services they offer, but for now, okay. what am I seeing here? There's a lot okay, happening. Okay, so this is a whole spread. Actually, not a whole, but a half of what we actually have. Wow, here. Yes. wow. So if we will start, um, let's start with that expensive stuff. Damn. So you see this here, it says for Jack Creek, one of the premium cuts, and it says Wagyu. Okay. I've, I've heard Wagyu Wagyu, I have no idea what it means. Okay, so basically, if you say Wa, yeah. it means Japanese. And the Gyu means cow. So Japanese cow? Cow, easy as that. Wow. But those are premium ones that have been fed and bred in a special way, which has marbling. So it's just partly like, if you look at marbling very well, you see part fat, part yeah, meat. So true. it goes in and out, oh, weaves its way in there. My God. So what you see is basically luxury meat. Those who want to enjoy the combination of fat and the meat, wow. this is what you have to get. So that's the wagyu for you. But, but I mean, why wagyu? So Japanese cow. What yes. about uh, Ghana cow? What do you call it? Oh, the Ghanaian cows are macho. It's... I call them macho workers because those ones are. I mean, they, they, they just walk miles and miles and miles. Almost every now and then, they are walking. So you. So but so is it that I mean, for cows bred in Ghana, they are not as premium as the wagyu the Japanese well, cow. They can be premium, but they are not as tasty and tender as this ones. Wow. Okay. These ones are specially bred, kept in the ranch, mm -hmm. not too much excess exercise. Mm -hmm. They eat, they sleep. So right from birth, if it is being weaned off the milk, when they start feeding it grass, it is grass till it is slaughtered. Throughout. When it is being fed, let's say rice, it is rice. If it is corn, corn till it is slaughtered. And when that's slot, before the slaughter, they make sure that one whole week, that they're going to slaughter, it is being fed massively on that. Wow. Then the slaughter process goes in, the cure and the, the bagging and the sealing goes in there. And in, in all of this, it, it, all, it all contributes to the premium nature of the meat and the tenderness. As you, because you, 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 say, you mentioned tender. Yes. So basically, what you're saying is that the cows we're seeing walking around, a cow walking around Ghana, they are too stressed. They are much worse. So our meat are they're just Very hard. tough. You find people. Um, Tune them. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not throwing us off. No, 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 no we, we, we'll be honest. The, the, the regular kebab on the roadside. Yeah. If you buy it, you see how you have to pull, pull, pull. By the time pull. you're done, see, your, uh, your, your biceps will be, you know, your biceps yes. would, yeah, just check it out. This but, is all. <laughs> <laughs> but with this ones, you don't have to put in so much uh, uh, SS, okay. SS chewing process. It's just a little and then you are done. So that's the Wagyu. So that's the Wagyu. This is the Wagyu, ultimate Wagyu. Wow. This we how, have how much, like, how much, by the way? Oh, this one. <laughs> <laughs> the price is over to know. Okay. A kilo, the least, we have it in marbling. Yes. We have what we call MBS, yeah. marbling score. Okay. We have a six, we have nine. So it scores up. So give so me, the give me. The score. So the six will cost me one yes. kilo. 
a kilo will cost like a thousand two hundred least. Ghana cities. Depend on the yeah, depend on the cut where it's coming from. Wow, and this 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 is how many kilos? This, this is MBS nine. So that'll be how much? And this one is like uh, five kilos. Yes, five kilos of this. So half a kilo of this is nine hundred and fifty cities. Wow. Yes. Wow. So this we have here is the lamb leg. Okay. Okay, this is a lamb leg imported. Actually, not the local lamb leg. Wow. But this is an imported lamb leg. Also tender as usual. Okay. And from where? This is from Australia. Australia. That yes. one is from Japan. This is from Japan. Yes. This is from Australia. So this is the lamb, lamb leg. leg okay. We have here. And, and then, then we have here what this is the lamb shank. Wow. <laughs> lamb shank. This is from New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand. Yes, the lamb shank wow. from New Zealand. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 New Zealand. Nice. Packed, nicely packaged. Beautiful. Tender as usual. Mm, the key Mark. word is tender. Tender. That's yes. what we focus on. So what is we this have here? this is a T-bone. The T-bone steak. T-bone steak. Uh, this is from Essie. South, South Africa. Africa. Yes. Oh, you see no, 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 it's like water. Ah. It's like water. Ah. It's like it's ah. like water. <laughs> My so, people, it's like water. So that is it. So Whoa. that's how So imagine this being prepared for you. You don't have to really chew too much. Just oh put it on one and just goes like that. Wow. Then when we come here, we have this. It's also a T-bone, but this is Potter House. Okay. The size and the cut. Is this, is from, this, this thicker? From New, yeah, thicker. Yes. This is from New Zealand. Okay, no problem. Yes. So this is also Great. from New Zealand T-bone. We have here yes, sirloin steak. Wow. This is, this is also from New this Zealand. This is top sirloin, bottom sirloin? Or? This is the top side. Okay, okay, yes. okay, okay. A bit of fat lining, fat cup up there. You have a neatly package. I, I like that you you understand the vocabulary. Did you go to meet, meet university or something? Oh, well, it's a passion. So when the passion drives you, you go beyond you go be yourself from whatever and invest yourself in it. I you love understand? it. I love it. Wow. Yes. So this we have here, this is a flat iron. Wow. Flat iron. It's also another part of the cow that we don't know. Wow. But it's a specific cow. I've, no, I've never I'm not, I've heard of the sailors, yeah. the, you know, the tomahawks, the tea bones. It's only here that you find out the rest. <laughs> yeah, so only you find the rest from here. Yeah. Good. So Next we come we have, to ah, Oh yes. Rip, uh, tomahawk. Oh yes, okay. look at this baby. Tomahawk. Look at this baby. <laughs> look at this baby. The tomahawk. That's a tomahawk. Uh, the K-Bun's favorite. You need, I mean, I mean, these are for the kings. <laughs> these are for kings, my friend. And this one, you also want a ribeye. Wow. Okay, this ribeye cut. So much meat. Okay, 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 okay. And this from New Zealand, a New Zealand cut. Okay. Yes. Lovely. New Zealand. Yeah. Beautiful, okay. Nicely okay. marbled. Nice. And we have this lamb chops. Yeah. The way you say it, it means, you know, it's, it's, ah. it's, it's the go-to. Ah. Lamb chops. It's a delicacy. I tell you, you, you can't go wrong with this at all. Nice. This lamb chops. This is from SA. Okay. Mm, mm, Nicely mm, packaged. Mm, Welcome mm. to you. Take this. Get your, you know, you are done. Nice one. Okay. Good. Lamb so chops. We come to this. Yes. This is also lamb rack. Oh. This is the, someone said the ribs of the, of the lamb. Oh. Okay. This is from New Zealand. Wow. From so a we family have this, farm. Yeah, so we have... This for this from New Zealand, we have the one from Ireland, we have the one from South Africa, wow. Argentina, we have them in different cuts. Wow. And then this is a Mexican, Colombian, Italian kind of meat. This is picanha. Picanha? Yes. I'm learning new this things is, every this day. This is a Brazilian cut, actually. That's all fat? This fat cup, yes. And the fat gives that flavor. When you have to work on it, the fat gives you that flavor. People will say fat, 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 but this is healthy fat. When you come here, always feed you always feel the healthy stuff. Healthy nothing, stuff. Nothing but nothing to waste your energy. Okay, and then we have the tenderloin. Yeah, yeah. What people call the filet mignon. Wow, look at this. Yes. This is also a Brazilian cut. Which part which part which part of the of the of the of the, of the in between the ribs. Okay. If you look at the ribs, the cow ribs yeah, like this, like this, in yeah. between they just strip it off. Oh, okay. It's only taking from the, the loin. That, that is the loin part of it. You take it from the back. Oh of my the god. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow. And then we have this, the view, beef okay. view. Veal view, so what is the view? I mean, the veal is basically, um, you know, they have these cattles, the mm -hmm. dairy cattle. Yeah. But they don't make, they don't milk, they don't yeah. milk them. Okay. And these ones are usually cut from those cattles. So this is very juicy and tender, soft and very grainy. Juicy, tender, soft and, and grainy. grainy. Yes. So Man. This one are the, you know. If, if, if you want to know about meat, you need to come to La <laughs> Sulo. So, La Sulo. So basically, that is that's it. Half of what we have. Absolutely love it. So we have sausages also. Walk to I mean, so we only have one, or okay, maybe two types of sausages. No, oh, oh, we have about eight to ten sausages here. What? Yes, eight to ten. Uh, no, no, in house. house. You know, come on. I, I uh, mean, yes. Name them for me. We have frankfurters. We have frying sausage. We uh -huh. have bacon. Uh -huh. We have bacon pork. Uh -huh. We have smoked pork. Uh -huh. We have uh, beef. Beef. We have chicken. Uh -huh. We have boar wars. Eight. And then we have lamb sausage. 
nine, and then the other two is premium. So we kept we keep it on the side. <laughs> When wow. you can't want it to express, you just open that door for me to enter. Wow. Uh, wow. This is amazing, man. Thank you so much for explaining them. You're welcome. But I'm hungry. Which one am I having? Ah. Okay. We'll be doing a bit of tenderloin. Yeah. We'll do lamb chops. I'll be giving that one from Spain. Okay. We'll be doing a bit of pork. I love we'll it. We'll be doing sausages. We'll be doing the potato with beef and pork. And we'll be doing the lamb sausage as well. It's Mid Haven. It's yeah. Mid Haven. Yeah. Lasulo. Remember mm. the name. Lasulo. Always. No doubt. My favorite, my favorite one. We'll be right back. When we come back, we'll enjoy some of the meat that he has for me. <laughs> well, in our next video, we feast. Only at Lasulo. <laughs>